now the verse from Luke, which I would have put first as their immediate response to Pilate saying he's going to release Jesus, but I couldn't because the word options for versus but. So now Luke records that they actually cry out. And they cried out all at once, saying, away with this man in italics. and release to us Rabbis. And I already have the explanation of who he is, so I don't need that. John, they cried out saying, not this man, but Barabbas. So I'll have that after he gives the option, Barabbas or Jesus. Whether of the two will you that I release to you? I forgot to read ahead. Well, actually, I did read ahead John 19, but I, for some reason, just forgot to include these events. Before I went into Pilate asking for the second time, whether the two will you release, uh, will you that I release to you, Barabbas, the king of the Jews, they say, not this man, but Barabbas. And then Pilate answers that to them, what will you then that I should do with Jesus, which is called Christ, the King of the Jews? And this brought up a problem that I finally realized. The timing of the scourging of Jesus In Matthew and Mark, there's no problem here. I could just keep on going because after he calls for the second time of who to release, they call for Barabbas. What should I do with Jesus? They say, let him be crucified. Then the governor said, why? But they just cry more, let him be crucified. And that's when Pilate washed his hands and says, okay, do it. They answer, yes, his blood be on us. Barabbas is then released. Jesus is then scourged. The crown of thorns is put on his head. They mock him. Then immediately they crucify him. So all of his torment is at once. In Mark, it's almost exactly the same. Who will you that I release to you? They say Barabbas. Pilate says, well then what about Jesus, whom you call the king of the Jews? They say crucify him. Pilate says, why? They say just crucify him. Pilate, willing to content the people, released Barabbas to them, delivered Jesus when he had scourged him to be crucified. And that's when all the torment happens. He had the robe of purple, the crown of thorns on his head. They smote him, they beat him, and then they crucified him all at once. Luke doesn't have the scourging. Just, they say crucify him. He said to them the third time, why, what evil has he done? I have found no cause of death in him. I will therefore chastise and release him. Which would lend credence to the fact that perhaps after all these times that he says why, that then he goes along with their demands for him to be crucified and that's when all these events would come to pass.
It doesn't actually say he said for the third time, then scourged him, because again, there's no mention of him being scourged. But it does say Pilate then gave sentence as required, released Barabbas, and they led Jesus away to be crucified. So Luke is kind of in the middle. It doesn't mention the scourging at all and the crowning of thorns. John is totally, totally different from Matthew and Mark. It says, I find no fault in him. And then he mentions Barabbas. Right? Will you that I release to you the king of the Jews? They say, no, not this man. So that could be the first or the second time that he mentions Barabbas. In the next chapter, before he goes along with agreeing with them, before he sends him to be crucified, Pilate now has Jesus scourged has the crown of thorns put on his head, has the robe, they mock him. Then after all that, Pilate therefore went forth again and says to them, Behold, I bring him forth to you, that you may know I find no fault in him. Then comes Jesus forth, wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. So he's already been scourged. He has the crown on, he has the robe, which Matthew Mark says happens after Pilate says, All right, I'll just go along with it. He'll be crucified. No, this says before. He's coming forth. Pilate says, Behold the man. The chief priest, therefore, and officers cry out, Crucify him. Pilate says, Take you him and crucify him. I find no fault in him at all. Then Pilate goes and talks to Jesus. Supposedly after he's been scourged. After Pilate had him scourged, he then goes and talks to Jesus. Where are you from? Jesus didn't answer. Pilate says, Don't you want to speak to me? Know you that I have the power to crucify you and have the power to release you? And Jesus answered, You could have no power at all against me except it were given you from above. Therefore, he that delivered you to me has a greater sin. And then, this is verse 12 now, Pilate sought to release him. But the Jews cried out, saying, If you let this man go, you are not Caesar's friend. Whosoever makes himself a king speaks against Caesar. When Pilate therefore heard that saying, he brought Jesus forth and sat down in the judgment seat, as it says in Matthew, way earlier. Before he decided to send Jesus to be crucified. So that pretty much convinces me. This timeline in John is right. He does have Jesus scourged. He does have the crown of thorns put on his head and the robe. And he's brought forth. Look, I punished him, right? I chastised him. And they say, no, crucify him. He says, why? It doesn't mention that he now releases Barabbas. It doesn't mention anywhere that he does release Barabbas. But it could easily fit here just by John skipping over that event because it was mentioned in all three of the other Gospels. The fact that he has this added dialogue with Jesus that is not in any of the other Gospels And also that it says after this dialogue, after he was scourged, then he sits down in the judgment seat. He then presents Jesus, which is probably that final choice that he gives to them. I'm pretty convinced John has the right order. Like in the denials of Peter, John actually records he brought in Peter and then had his first denial, then goes over to the events of Jesus, and then after all that, has the rest of Peter's denial, separates the two sets of denials, the first one with the other two, whereas all the other three have the three denials together, 
and then all the events of Jesus. It's as if John cares more about the timing of these events. Matthew and Mark and Luke were more interested in putting the three together so you clearly know, yeah, one, two, three, I see them. And Matthew clearly has before combined all the events of a certain topic together so that you can see it in sequence, but not necessarily in order of all the events. Just that all these events happened and also all these other events happened, not necessarily separate times. They could have been interwoven. I think Matthew and Mark have the sequence wrong. I think John has it correctly. So I'm going to go with John. When exactly could I put this timing of him being scourged? It would have to be right after they say, away with this man, release to us Barabbas. So after this first line from Luke, that's where I'll put in here from John, that he was scourged and the crown of thorns and the robe, and I'll combine everything from Matthew and Mark as well. Then cried they all again, saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Cried they again. Alright, I think that the again does work, because from Mark, verse 8, And the multitude crying aloud began to desire him as he had ever done before. So then when they cry now, it would be again. Then they all cried out at once again. Or, then they cried again, cried out again. Or, then they again cried out all at once. Yeah, that's what it needs to be. Actually, I'll keep and. Saying is also John. Should I have not this man? or away with this man. I'm going to go with away with this man. This is both. The man is in italics in Luke, so I'll just say it's only John. his final option, Barabbas or Jesus. Verse 15 of John 19 says, But they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. That I am going to combine with their answer saying, Barabbas. I'll have away with him. I'll have to combine with Oh no, I can't. Maybe I'll just have away with him Barabbas. Maybe 
Maybe I should have released to us Barabbas down there. Because he doesn't actually give the option up here. He says, I will therefore chastise and release to you Jesus, which is called Christ. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Away with this man. I'll have Anne release to us Barabbas move down lower. Save that for 